Hello, this is Hain from Cambo the Drill, and today we're going to grade in app review, which is one of cool feature that user could easily rate without leaving the app, just like we embedding the Google rating inside our app. And this API is quite simple to use. Just add a few lines of code. It will show as a button sheet dialog and allow user to review their comment with the submit button. So please note that if you're new with this. The testing is a little bit long process to do and we're gonna talk it at the end of this video. Actually, we already do that in the previous video about in ape update. So if you're interested in it, please check it here or the link is in the description. So without further ado, let's get started. To integrate in ape review, for minimum requirements, we need Android device should be running minimum on Android 5 or API 21. And the Google Play Store should be installing it. And then we need one more thing is the Play Core dependency. At least version 1.8.0 or higher the better effectively. By the document, the Google protects the user privacy and avoid the API misuse. So the API has a limited quota per user. Therefore, this should not be implemented with the button click or trying to ask the user opinions, something like uh, please give a five stars or something like that. So now we're gonna create a new project, an empty project. We're gonna call this uh, app review taste. And then hit the finish button. We're gonna add the play quality dependency in a creator file. And then we're gonna click uh, sync link to download the library. Then now we are gonna go to the main activity class that we're gonna place the code inside that. So we're going to uh, predefine review info name as a review info another one is a review lecture as the manager we do this because we will use that in anonymous class in the future so this objects we will instance in the reference in the next step so just keep eyes on it for clean code we're gonna create a new method which is called uh, active review info And then we're gonna creating an instance review manager by using the review manager factory. Then we're gonna put the context in the create method. And now we are preparing to create a task from this nature object. So by saying manager dot request review flow, and that which is gonna return a task review info. About this statement, it should be called at the correct times. So as the document mentioned, we just have a limit request per user. So make sure that you really want your app show the review dialogs or not. Okay, so the question is that, when should we launch the review dialog? The concept should be when the users use a few days or for the game, just a finish in a level five, or tens or something like that. It is better than you ask them to give a review at the first launch application, which is annoying for the user. It might give the bad experience, so be consider on that. And now we gonna listen the task is completely request. And then we're gonna implement an animal class, which is however give the task result. At this class, we're gonna use the Lambda expression so we can have a clean look, but uh, this lambda expression is supported java 8 so we gonna change that in the project structure so go to the file project structure and then we go to the module and change the source compatibility to 1.8 which is uh, java 8 and then the target compatibility too okay so when we implement the anon class this will drop the task info as a parameter. And the task is allowed to check if the success or not. So let's say 
uh, task dot is successful and then we're gonna create the result and the result in here which is the review info object so let's assign it to the review info variable and then if not we're gonna toss a message let's say review fails to start and now we have done on activate review flow method and then we're gonna go to uh, start launch the review dialogs and we're gonna create another one method which is called a start review flow and then we're going to check the review object if not null and if so we're going to show the review dialog at first we're going to say manager dot launch review flow and the first parameter is the activity and then the object review info okay so this will return as the task again and the type is avoid then we can listen when it's complete request and here is the optional to implement inside out because we already launched the dialog via this single line of code for example here i'm gonna toss a message rating is complete actually the api doesn't provide the listener to know whether the user is submit the review or not and then for the last step we're gonna call the activity review info in on create method and then we will launch the rating dialog with the button click so in main activity layout we're gonna insert a button so within hide we're going to wrap with the content and the id is gonna be beaten the text is uh, show here we have a warning error so we're gonna change this constraint layout to the linear layout okay then we're gonna go to the activity class again and find the reference button and then we're gonna set the action to performing click so when we click we're gonna call the methods start review flow okay now our code is finished so we can testing now to be able testing we need a developer console which is have a production app like in a play store and then we're gonna copy this packet id and we're going to replace that in the creator file over here we do this because we want to this app pretend to be the app lie in the play store so then go to developer console select the app which is have already copied the id and go to the setup internal app sharing and over here we're gonna see the main testers and we have two options and we're gonna choose the first one so that anyone can download via this link and then we're going to click this button self change now we're gonna go to this url for internal app sharing and then we're going to upload the app with a shining package but please note that if you upload with the package that not exists in the live play store you're gonna see this message you don't have the permission to use the internal app sharing for that package name so please remember that you must upload your own app which is live on the play store account okay so let's share the link and if the link redirect to the play store and it show the message like this then just go ahead to clear the data play store app and we're gonna go to the links once again after that we will see the dialogs to enable internal app sharing so let's go to that and tap on the play store version five times and then we will see this section will visible and we're gonna turn it on so now we can install it okay so let's click on that button and now it's work the dialog power up as the button sheet dialog and this is for testing that's why the button is always disabled to submit okay so for lastly 
I think the library is not perfectly working. Because when I try to test with my LG G6, which is running on Android 9, it didn't work. By the flow, it worked fine. Instead of that, I'm using the Redmi Note 8 to show you guys in here. So hopefully you guys gonna learn something new or help in some cases. So please subscribe to my channel for the new video. Be safe and stay updated. Bye bye.